Indonesia. Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of ARC. In the last one, I was kind of just giving you guys updates on everything that was going on. There's still a few more things that I need to show you before we take off on Serenity, because I just remembered that I didn't even mention it. So now we have the water irrigation here on the farms. And if you actually look, I don't want to get too close because I might fall. But if you look down there, there's a pipe that goes all the way down to the water. So Avo set that up. I don't know how exactly he built on that cliffside. He said it was very complicated. <laughs> anyway, so we now have water up here, which is very convenient. Oh, Serenity, we are flying. So we just got these saddles yesterday. I took her out for a quick spin. I love flying on the Argentavis because they're actually, uh, even though they're slower. Okay, let's see. There's the pipe, by the way. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, even though they are slower, they have a whole lot more stamina. As you can see, like I've been playing around a little bit already and it hasn't even gone down hardly at all. So it's pretty fantastic. Let's go ahead and fly up real quick. Take a nice little fly up. Take a screenshot even. There we go. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. So this way you guys can see... Okay, level out there, lady. Thank you. This way you guys can see kind of the cliff where we live. So this is a pretty good perspective and you can see the build that's happening there. It's a little bit dark, but that's what we're working on. That's where our base is going to be. Lately I have noticed these rivers turning really bright orange and I'm not quite sure why. It's a little strange to me. But we're going to fly over this way towards Ozzy and Elwins to show you guys what we did over here with them recently. But I think I pretty much showed you guys everything that's going on at the base. Now I didn't bring any uh, diamorphs which me with me, which was probably a mistake, but we're gonna wing it. Uh -huh -huh. Wing it. Uh -huh. Huh. I'm gonna eat a carrot or two. They really fill you up pretty good for a vegetable. For a vegetable. I really like flying. Even though she looks kind of derpy, from behind at least, she looks like a really fat turkey. There's something about the wings that don't look quite proportional to me whenever you look at her that way. Here it's not as bad. From the front it looks fine. There's just something about those fat thighs. She got some thunder thighs on her. Serenity, you got some beautiful thunder thighs. But she's proud of it, I think. It's okay. It's good for her. Alright, so we are almost there. Getting close. This is where we first spawned over here. So as you can see, the river goes inland, and then our base is right over that way. I wanted to give you guys an idea of what's going on if you haven't played the game before. And Ozzy and Elwyn's Emporium over here has been growing pretty dramatically. Elwyn has been putting in quite a bit of time of playing. I think she's about to go on a trip, so she is trying to get as much playtime as she can. We're getting some lag as things are loading in, but it should clear up here in a minute. Alright, so she's got all of her dinos and her narcotic emporium in her shops. We spend a bit of time over here, just that way we can all play together and stuff. But quite a few of the members on the server are over here on the east coast. So it's kind of nice to go visit them. I love the way these guys walk. Look at that. Oh, and you pooped. Good girl. Good job. Okay, so here's all of their dinos. They got Taco. They have another one <laughs> named Bell. I don't know where Bell is. Because <laughs> when they visited, they really liked Taco Bell here in the States. Uh, all right, let's see. And then this is their glorious dodo pen. Look at all those dodos. Got a couple dimorphs in there to protect them. And they're all named Ozzy. <laughs> so she's been using this to collect eggs and poop and stuff. And from what I understand, it's been very useful for things like cooking, cooking with the eggs. And she's been making kibble and stuff so that you can tame things. Now that they have it where you can actually tame some stuff without having to knock them out, she's been using that technique. So we came over here. I keep thinking that these things are carrots whenever I see them because they look, I don't know, I know they're shelves, but they look kind of like carrots. So we came over here the other day 
and <laughs> we were going to help her tame some megalodons. Well, a megalodon. And we ended up taming quite a few. In the process, she gave me some of that kibble that I was mentioning, and I saw this guy, and I was like, ooh, I really want to tame one of these little ichthy dolphin dudes. So I tamed this awesome fella, and then realized that it was beached. Like, he can't move, he can't do anything. It's quite pretty, too. But he's stuck here for all eternity until they fix that sort of situation. So I named him Stucky, because he's just kind of stuck. And we tamed... <laughs> So we're gonna tame one megalodon, I and mean, I think we tamed four. We wound up taming four because they were all pretty close to each other. And it went well. We just kind of brought them over to this rock over here, and we stood on it, and we would shoot at them while Avo would lure them while riding on one of the ichthys. And this one is mine. This is Dorito. Hey, Dorito. I'm gonna ride on you. Look at it. It's so bright. Isn't it pretty? As you can see, I named him Dorito because he's such a bright orangey color, like a like a Dorito. And we're stuck. These guys are super cool. I'm still really freaked out by the water. I'm not gonna lie. Like when these guys were coming and stuff, I was pretty freaked out. So I stayed on the rock and let them <laughs> let them swim around and try to shoot at them with the crossbows and I just stood out of the water and I was like, I'll shoot from here because I was so freaked out by these. But I'm really happy with this guy. Look, when you sprint, it's pretty quick. I got a decent amount of stamina too. I haven't been out here to the deep ocean. Oh, it's so scary. I guess I should go ahead and check it out though. Okay, what should we level up? On this guy. Let's see. Maybe... Got decent health. I'm probably gonna level up the health a little bit and then maybe the melee. Ooh, yeah. Now we do some real damage. I thought I saw something swimming. Oh, it's one of the dolphins! See, they actually come up to you because they're very friendly. Oh, but that is not friendly. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. I haven't fought one of these yet. <laughs> I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Eat it! Yeah, let's swim away. Shark battle! Do, do, do. Da -na, da -na, da -da -da -da. I feel like I'm not killing him very well. Come on! Would you... Like, we're just circling each other. I would really like you to die, you know? You're really bugging me. Or fishing me. <laughs> I want you to bite. Bite. Bite him. Om nom nom. I can't tell if I'm actually hitting him. Oh yeah! Oh, you were just a little level 3. Ooh, look at that body. It's all crumpled. Oh, I'm suffocating. Oh, I got some fried meat. That's good. Yeah, I forget that you actually have to come up to the surface and, like, breathe and stuff. <laughs> but they are making some new swimming guys that will supposedly secrete an oil that will make it where you don't have to come up to the surface as often. Something like that. Okay, let's go explore down here. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so creepy. There's the oil. I don't really know the best way to refine that stuff, but you really have to have some good oxygen abilities or something. Okay, I'm already down to half. Let's go grab some oxygen. Breathe! Okay, let's go back down. Whoa, whoa, dude. What's your problem? Oh dear. I'm so scared. Oh my gosh, I'm I'm seriously freaked out. I don't know why, but this really freaks me out. Guys, deep water. Can't handle. Which way am I going? I don't even know. I need to get out of this. I'm legit freaked out. Okay, okay, we're okay. <sighs> Man, this is probably good practice for me, because I am legit freaked out by deep water. But there are plesiosaurs down there. I kind of wanted to see one. But I'm a little 
I'm nervous. Oh my gosh, it's so blue and dark and I can't see anything. I can't see anything. Okay, let's just go down here. It's gonna be okay. Do you see anything? I don't see anything. I don't think they're down here. We'll just we'll just come back later when we have like other people with us and it's not quite so scary. <laughs> Oh, this is not even the right- oh, I'm at the wrong place. Sorry guys, I'm a ninny. Legit- like, that shouldn't freak me out, but it did. It did- it did. I'm quite- my heart is beating so fast. just don't like deep water. <laughs> even lakes. Like, as a kid, lakes freaked me out. My family had the- these friends that had a skiing boat. And, uh, so they would take us out kneeboarding and skiing sometimes in the summer. I always only did kneeboarding. I never learned how to ski because I was pretty young. Um, <laughs> but I was always so scared whenever I fell off the kneeboard or whenever, you know, you wiped out or whatever. And then you had to just float around waiting for the boat. It was always the scariest part for me, even though it was fresh water and stuff. I remembered watching some videos on the Discovery Channel talking about these prehistoric sharks that lived in fresh water and stuff. And I was convinced, even as like a seven-year-old, I was convinced that nobody had thoroughly checked the lake to make sure that these sharks didn't still exist. So I was so convinced that there was still some sort of sharks or something that was going to pull me under before the boat got back and I was so scared. So scared. Little, little ninny in Asia. But as you can see, <laughs> I still haven't quite gotten over that fear. But we at least went out on the shark. So that's progress. Eventually I'll get even better. I do want to take one of those dolphin guys out for a spin at some point or catch one for myself that isn't stuck. Um, because they are quite a bit faster too, so I feel like there's some security there that feels feels better because it's faster. Okay, something else that I wanted to go do is fly up to the north because, I mean, I have been, okay, I really appreciate you guys as viewers following this series and leaving me comments and ideas on na what I should name things and all of this stuff. I really like it. I love the feedback. I love playing this game. It's just fantastic. But the other day, I got a comment with someone saying, Hey, I'm from Poets Channel, who is also on this server, and I hate Dry Ronin. <laughs> Uh, which as you can see, it, it made me laugh. It's pretty funny. Um, so we have our, I mean, he's been building up, Poet has been building up this sort of tribal rivalry. I know he was sneaking over to that place that I was just at and stealing. He was stealing from them, stealing narco berries. Granted, they were narco berries and narcotics that were, uh, for free. Like, they had them out there for people to be able to take and use for whatever. But he was he was only wanting to take them so that he could steal them. So he is intentionally creating some tension, creating some drama. So I thought I would go take a peek at their base. Oh wow, there's a T-Rex up here. I kind of wanted to land, but it looks like we're gonna have to... Can we land? Somewhere here? This is pretty dangerous. D -d -d danger This is not a good situation. Okay, I think if we land, like, right here, we'll be okay. Okay, Serenity, don't wander off. Don't wander off. No, no, no. Stop. Stop. Serenity. Stop. Serenity. Serenity. Thank you. Okay, that was alright. Could have been far worse. So where are we? Let's look at our map. Yeah, okay, so I know there's somewhere up here along the north coast. I don't really know where though. Uh wait, I pulled it I pulled it away. Okay. 
So I thought I would at least fly up here and see if I can spot them. I think they might be more to the west than this. But I know they are out on the beach somewhere. So I thought I would like kind of scout out their territory just a little bit. I know that... Okay, so he was giving a lot of smack talk and stuff and stealing from us and things. Challenging Tribe Ronin, stating that team... Or Tribe of Awesomeness, I think is what they're called. He was determined that they were way cooler than we were and stuff. And Good for him, good for him. But I don't think they are nearly as equipped as we are at this point. We have a lot more dinos, we have a lot more people at this point even. So, I would suggest that maybe he hold off on those threats just a little bit. Did you see those pteranodons? They're just falling out of the sky. Falling out of the sky. So I might fly around a little bit until I find them and then just chime back in. Okay, there is a house over there, so we're gonna go check that out because that might be theirs. I'm not really sure, but this is a really pretty little area. The water is so blue with the mountains and everything. It's really nice. I wonder if, if this is their house. I guess we could try and land right on top. Oh, it's Hux. Hux up here, what do you know? Hey there, Huck. Probably can't open this door, huh? Oh, there's a pin code? What? What? Well, I don't have that, but we found Huck's home up here on the north coast. Let's take a look at our map. Okay, so he's right here. So that's not superbly far from us if we just flew directly north from our base, even. Or I think. Let's see, was there a river? Okay, well, the river's a little bit south of here that goes down and connects to our base. But I haven't seen Tribe of Awesomeness's location yet, except there's two raptors down there. Let's go ahead and keep flying around and see if we can spot them. Oh, what do you know? I spoke too soon. Is this theirs? I know they said they didn't have a roof on something, but I don't know if this is actually their home. Let's take a look. Maybe we should fly up on top of the roof. Yeah, we found it! Oh, dude, I wanted you to land on top of the building, that way we could actually go inside. Oh, this is a nice little house. Just leave some poop here. <laughs> ah! This is very complicated. Okay, can I even... Oh, I can level up. That's something. Uh, I have been doing my oxygen and my weight currently. Movement speed. I think I'll go ahead and do my oxygen again because it actually increases your swimming speed as well. I think that will be very helpful. I guess we could just try to land like in the house. Let's just do that. Oh dear. Oh dear. Now I'm like royally stuck. Wow. Can't move. Okay. Come on. Jump, 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 jump. Can you follow me? That way I can move? <laughs> this is not going well. Dang it. Okay. Ah, there we go. There we go. Here, you stay there for a moment. So now we're creeping in their house. There's nothing here. Where are they even? I wonder if they're staying in the thatch house until they have a roof on this one, that makes sense. Looks like they have a trike, but that's about it. I did see in one of their episodes that they actually uh, had a bit of a T-Rex incident. Is that theirs? Did they tame this or is it? Yeah, okay, it's a tame trike. There's Winter's house. So they're probably all hiding in there. So, there we have it. Our arch enemies. <laughs> at this point in time. Currently, the other groups, let's see, I know Code is somewhere down on the, maybe even on the west coast? Faye, Beerys, I um, think they're, they're both around the east coast, but I'm not exactly sure where. So I'm just fly straight south-ish. Yeah, should be somewhat correct. 
Fave and code, uh, or code as the blur, 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 blur. Fave and B Reese. I don't know that they've been playing a whole lot lately. And Lofty, I haven't seen online in a while. I think they're a little bit intimidated by kind of how grindy this game is. But we have changed the server properties to kind of cater to people who don't have as much time. So for things like taming, it is increased a bit. So that it won't take quite so long. Oh, the, oh, here it is. Avo pointed this out to me the other day, saying that we should settle, like, make a little thing here. It's so pretty. I really like it. Looks like there's a little sarco down there. With this little oasis with the cliffs all around it. So pretty. Anyway, as I was saying. So they've increased the server property, or the taming speed make things a little bit easier for people on the server who don't have as much time. But I don't think we need to be concerned about Tribe of Awesomeness at this point in time. We have a little bit of a higher threat level. We've also been playing quite a bit more, <laughs> as is pretty apparent. But I am very excited about how our base is coming. I'm very excited about being able to actually make a nice little fortress, and we have lots of plans for expanding our area and then eventually settling elsewhere too, or just having like outposts for our tribe throughout the map. It's kind of the idea. We have one on the east coast, we have one here. We took a trip down to the south where we used to be, and it was really nostalgic actually to see our old spot. It's kind of nice. So we might wind up going down there and building something down there too. Just for old time's sake. Oh wow, I am nearly out of stamina. I was not paying attention. Just talking to you guys. And I'm gonna get myself killed. Because yeah, from this height, I would totally have died. Let's hope there aren't any baddies here. Okay. I don't see anything. We're okay. Okay. Whoa, Serenity, where are you going? Freaking, freaking me out, bird. All right. So I'm gonna head home. Ooh, look at that spino. That's a pretty one. So, <laughs> so distracted. So easily distracted. I'm gonna head home, but I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of exploration, scouting out our enemies, checking out the ocean a little bit. And I will see you guys next time. Goodbye for now.